What's up, UCLBs? Tonight's ice cream review is Ample Hills Mickey Mouse Collection. That's right, Ample Hills and Disney have collaborated on three ice cream flavors dedicated to everybody's favorite cartoon mouse. It is his birthday this month. He's going to be 90 years old. It looks pretty darn good for 90 years old, I gotta say. We'll actually be seeing him later this month, and I'm hoping that uh, Cam sings him happy birthday because it's actually his favorite song, believe it or not. I originally planned to review these alongside Cam, but he has a pretty nasty cold and he just hasn't been feeling like himself lately. Plus, uh, the less dairy, the better. So, more for daddy, right? But don't worry, I ordered extra, so he'll get a chance to try it eventually. I'm not gonna leave him out. Three different flavors, three unique combinations of elements. I'm gonna read them off as we go. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. They sound good. They look really good, too. This is some next level stuff right here. It comes with spoons. So if for some reason you find yourself in a car or somewhere that doesn't have utensils, boom, you can eat ice cream. Really cool. I'm gonna start off with Confetti Celebration. Confetti Celebration is sweet cream ice cream with confetti cake, ribbons of yellow buttercream frosting, and yellow Mickey-shaped white chocolate pieces filled with lemon cream. Team Lemon stand up. Interesting, we got birthday cake, we got lemon, and we got frosting. So, Brooklyn, you can't have any ice cream yet, okay? Just boob mill for now. Let's dig in. If you guys ever had Ample Hills before, you know their sweet cream is legendary status. Such a good, simple base ice cream. And those little lemon-filled Mickey pieces. Sprinkles, of course. What confetti flavor does not have sprinkles? Cake pieces. So far, so good. Very sweet, as you would expect. There's a decent amount of cake pieces, but man, there's so much of that frosting swirl. It just feels like you're eating cake in ice cream form. It's very colorful. It's very fun, as you would expect from a Mickey Mouse ice cream. This is really, really good. And you know what? The white chocolate lemon-filled Mickey pieces. I, I know some of you guys out there are lemon haters, a.k.a. jabroni. Some of you picky eaters out there were wondering how it would work. It works fine. It works fine. It's not too lemony. There's not a ton of those Mickey pieces. It's mostly buttercream frosting, cake pieces, sprinkles, and that sweet cream. We're off to a good start here. Like I said, very sweet, but a great birthday cake, confetti cake flavor. I'm giving this one an eight out of 10. Next up is peanut butter jamboree. Peanut butter jamboree is vanilla bean ice cream with strawberry cake, ribbons of peanut butter frosting, and Mickey shaped peanut butter pieces filled with strawberry jam. Oh man, sounds like this could be an almost peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jam type flavor. Let's dig in. So we got that vanilla bean ice cream, cake pieces, the peanut butter, uh, strawberry jam filled pieces and then the peanut butter swirl. The base and the cake chunks are fine, but you know what guys, uh, I don't know, it's kind of pains me to say, but this, the peanut butter pieces and the peanut butter frosting just tastes off. It's not good. That's not a good peanut butter flavor. It's very strange tasting, very artificial tasting, and it kind of ruins the flavor for me. I mean, actually there's no kind of about it. The peanut butter flavor is, very present because you've got the pieces and the swirl. Really taints this one. Uh, very disappointing because this is the one I was most excited about because I love peanut butter. And I really thought it was going to be a peanut butter and jam uh, ice cream. But in, in reality, it's just got a weird peanut butter flavor to it that I just do not dig at all. This is a big letdown. I'm giving this one a 4 out of 10. Last but not least, triple chocolate surprise. This is chocolate malted ice cream with chocolate fudge cake, ribbons of dark chocolate buttercream frosting, and Mickey-shaped white chocolate pieces filled with fudge. Let's go. This is good stuff. Guys, we gotta talk about this malted chocolate ice cream. This base is just fantastic. Uh, obviously, we got fudge cake pieces. Hard to go wrong there. Dark chocolate buttercream frosting swirl is just as good as the regular buttercream frosting swirl that was in uh, Confetti Celebration. I haven't got a ton of the Mickey pieces yet, but I'm gonna dig it. This is a very rich chocolate flavor. Reminds me a bit of Ben & Jerry's Chocolate Therapy. You gotta like chocolate to like this flavor, and luckily, I like chocolate. Hello there. No? Would you prefer a boob? Okay. Here, mama. Mmm. Ooh, so creamy. 
Mm-hmm. Reminds me a bit of chocolate therapy, doesn't it? Ooh. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what the base is? Chocolate malt. I was gonna say like a milkshake. Alright, Kelsey has yet to try the other two flavors, but I have a feeling that even though she really likes cake flavors, she's going to, well, they're all cake flavors technically, but the, she likes confetti cake flavors. I think confetti celebration is still going to come in number two for her. It comes in number two for me because triple chocolate surprise is not only the best of this pack, it's one of the best ice creams I've had all year. It's chocolate on top of chocolate on top of chocolate. The white chocolate pieces are a nice little little break from the chocolate, but honestly, I would prefer them just to be chocolate and Mickey's with more chocolate inside. I don't need any white chocolate in here, but it, it's cool. It's cool. It's great for contrast as well visually. If you love chocolate, you will love this ice cream. I love chocolate and I love this ice cream. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Let's wrap this up, make it short and sweet. You guys know ordering ice cream online, having it shipped to your house, it's expensive stuff. So you're wondering, is this worth the price? Well, it's this is hard for me to say. It, it pains me. I don't think it's worth the price for most people because you have to get this crappy peanut butter jam brie flavor mixed in with two other really good flavors. I mean, an eight, a nine, and a four. The four really brings the average down and as far as I know, you can't mix and match. You can't order three of one flavor. The, the package is these three flavors plus a pint of Nona D's Oatmeal Waste, which is a great flavor, by the way, if you've never had it. So it's hard for me to put my stamp of approval on this as a package deal. If you find yourself around the Nample Hill Scoop Shop and they have these flavors, get Triple Chocolate Surprise, get Confetti Celebration, and skip Peanut Butter Jamboree. But uh, as always, guys, your mileage is gonna vary. Taste is subjective, so if you are dead set on ordering this, if you're a huge Mickey fan like most people, go ahead and order it. Try it for yourself. You might love peanut butter jam brie. I just, I did not enjoy it whatsoever. It's probably the one of the worst, if not the worst, Ample Hills flavor I've ever had. Huge letdown. So if you want, if you really want to order it, order it. Don't let some nerd on the internet doing a YouTube video dissuade you from doing that, okay? Go ahead and try it. But for my money, I... Uh, Hindsight being 2020, it's, it's, it would be hard for me to pull the trigger again, knowing what I know now. But uh, Triple Shock Surprise, Confetti Celebration are definitely worth uh, the price for me. Uh, you guys know that some people like fancy watches. I like ice cream and cookies and pizza and burritos. But, you know, food, food can get expensive. So there you guys have it. Just one ice cream fan's opinion. Triple Chocolate Surprise is number one, Confetti Celebration is number two, and Peanut Butter Jamboree is in a far distant number three in, a, in another stratosphere, another galaxy, okay? So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.